Hey everyone, Dave here and welcome to Assassin's Creed Nexus Overview. Alright y'all, this is the big day, pretty much historically speaking as well. Since I've been doing VR YouTube, I did not see such an IP like that to come around and grace us with its presence. <laughs> My personal experience both with Ubisoft and this series is as follows. The company essentially killed off one of my favorite franchises in gaming so they can at least on that suck my ass. Other than that, I remember when I moved to Paris like 6 years ago, I wanted to apply for a post job in the Ubisoft kind of French department. I think at the time it was like a translation one with Polish to English stuff going on. Of course I was rejected in the matter of minutes so... <laughs> I'm not salty. But going back to Assassin, I've actually not had that much experience, though I'm very familiar with the OG, the first game, like with Alter and Animus and the... I think it was happening in like 20th century. Just now it hit me that VR was very much around <laughs> because the concept of the machine you know animus was based on virtual reality so this appearing here just makes total sense out of like any big franchises out there and a huge full circle moment that it can't be a better circumstance. So Assassin's Creed Nexus is a parkour action adventure game where you'll embody three legendary assassins that are known from the series to uncover their new memories and try to stop Abstergo from manipulating people to gain power. The storyline is a bit hazy for me, especially that I am coming from the very early days of it. I also am a little bit familiar with the second one, but maybe like the first one and a half hour because it was close to the period where I was dropping flat screen gaming and then turning it to the VR. My main hope for this game is to be just immersed in the world and literally feel like I'm there. I think that's not gonna be that hard, especially looking at the trailer and just all the juicy stuff going on there. In terms of the mechanics and features, we'll treat it as a usual release on the store. I don't know what's Ubisoft skills and what they were developing over the years. Just because they have put money into it, does not mean the talent is present, though just from seeing the interactions, the world and everything is right here. The combat seems to be happening in like two scenarios, both in close one where you'll have deflecting and counterpowering going on, or you simply sneak up and assassinate them. I'm most likely gonna be interested in the Ezio story and the Italy itself. That is just my vibe, especially that I'm very much familiar with the culture and the environment of the country. I think this year is gonna be just a fight between Nexus and Asgard to take the game of the year. If this old footage is real, if it this really is quest free and the same stuff will be happening in the headset, I mean this is just unbelievable. <laughs> Enough chit chat and let's get to business. Let's become the assassins. I mean we're taking the hard mode just like with Asgaraf. We'll do the same as well there because in games like that I'm just looking for the most amount of experience I can gather. <laughs> For centuries, the brother of assassins and Templar... I mean, yeah, I think that's how it started all. Brotherhood Hacker. Influencing society to their beliefs. So this is like a story across the whole series. Why am I in MR? <laughs> what? Testing, testing. One, two, three. That'll do. Ah, hello there. Thanks for taking our call. I'm Sean, and this is Rebecca. We're your Brotherhood contacts for this op. What's the job? 
Straight to the point. I like that. Bex? Our intelligence indicates Abstergo is developing a new profiling technology that goes way beyond anything seen before. Over the years, they've collected and archived the memories of countless individuals, politicians, generals, even normal people like you and me. I don't think I'd call you normal, Sean. Very funny, but the point is, imagine if your own memories could be analysed to understand how you think, to learn about your values and beliefs, and to know what to show or tell you online or in person, to slowly replace those beliefs with a set of new ones. Templar beliefs. So where do I come in? The executive in charge of this initiative, Dominica Wilk, needs someone with your skills to finish the project. But she doesn't know you're working for us, or that you're going to shut her operation down for good. But more on that later. For now, we'll piggyback on your connection, so we'll be there when you need us. You'll have to switch over from our network to Abstergo's, and then you're off to your first meeting with your new boss. That's such a out of place introduction. Huh. What have we here? Our friend is one step ahead of us. That will sever their connection to our virtual space when they connect to Abstergo and Dominica and let us listen in on their conversations safely. It's very much in the hacking realm, I guess. That's what you do, right? <laughs> ah, you must be the hacker. As ordered. Good. I'm Domenica Wilk. You'll report to me. Your skills are impressive, and so is your track record. Hacking governments, multinationals. Whatever you want, I can get it. That's why I hired you. But this job is different. This is the Abstergo Cloud. It's an archive of memories stretching back through time. We use a technology called the Animus to visit these memories, seeing them through the eyes of those who lived them. What is this, time travel? It's a simulation. No action you take in the Animus can directly affect the present. So why do you need me? The memories in the Cloud hold the key to an important project I'm working on. So I want you to visit these memories and bring back the information I need. Where do I start? It's more of a who than a where. Ezio Auditore di Firenze, an Italian noble and a master assassin. Sounds like quite a character. He was. Ezio was friends with Leonardo da Vinci and Machiavelli and a sworn enemy of the Borgias. He touched many lives at the end of the 15th century. And his blade ended more than a few. Count me in. Not so fast. The Animus is unlike anything you've ever experienced before, so we need to get you acclimated to its use. Think of it as a test before we set you loose on the real deal. Now, let's see what you've got. <laughs> the movement. I do. So what preset do we have? Full immersion, no fear of heights. Yeah, accurate. Okay, with vignetting, locomotion, parkour assistant and virtual nose. I don't want any help, I want to completely be in it. <laughs> Welcome to the Animus Orientation Protocol. I will guide you through the basics of using the Animus. Your avatar is now active. You should be able to move around freely. Okay. So we're here. <laughs> In terms of the resolution from the distance, it is a little bit pixelated. It's not tragic. The textures 
cool, but I think it's just overall the resolution from the distance is a little bit grainy. But overall, solid. I can grab stuff, interact with everything pretty much. Okay, escape. <laughs> Just put it back. <laughs> the so interact, okay. Once again, my path leads back to Venice. Alas, I must deny my friends here the pleasure of my company. I have a sword to retrieve, and a lesson to teach. No one steals from an auditore and leaves to boast about it. We can also grab walls, like... There are interesting interactions going on. I wish we were with the rest of the troop right now, instead of being stuck standing guard here. Why? They're working hard out there in the countryside. All we have to do is watch an empty building and drink wine. They'll be getting plenty of chances to line their pockets when we get We'll be getting our reward for They're keeping an eye out. You must make your way through the library without being detected. If you're spotted, you'll desynchronize and will restart from your last checkpoint in this memory. <laughs> I really was looking forward to the chance to do a little, shall we say, acquisitions work. Why are you in such a rush? I have bills to pay. They won't give me credit down at the wine shop anymore. <laughs> well, your money was burning a hole in your purse. He's walking very fast while crouching. It says here the painting is to be delivered to Francisco Rizzo. I know that name. You can distract guards in a number of ways. For example, you can divert their attention by throwing objects to make noise. Lovely. If you feel uncomfortable when using the Animus, remember that you can adjust your comfort settings at any time. I'm good. You are now going to learn how to assassinate a target. Flick your wrist outward while holding the trigger button to draw your hidden blade. <laughs> Once the blade is drawn, you can use it to assassinate your unsuspecting target. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> Well done. You have mastered the art of assassination. Now proceed with your mission. It's not an obvious movement. It needs to be like full circle, not just like a flick. But I love it. <laughs> what is this? A map of Monteregioni. Why is this here? A dead end, but there is always a way out. Do I have jumping or something? The Animus Pulse ability detects key objects nearby and highlights them with a gold aura. Books. There is an empty socket above the fireplace.
Do I have like some equipment going on? I feel like the textures could be a little bit better, honestly, but like... You're here. <laughs> it's very much... I must be missing something. I must be missing something. I must be missing something. That's <laughs> yours. Two pieces joined together. Where do they go? A secret passage. Quickly. I must leave the city tonight. Yes, mistress. I should never have been away so long. Is my carriage ready? Yes, mistress. Good. Now put your back into it. There's no time to waste. <sighs> yes, mistress. To reach the next room, you will need to climb this wall. Try it now. Well, let me. I don't get it. What the? What's going on? Clamp candles. Well, that's it. Oh my god, what a struggle! <laughs> room of some kind my sword could well be here I wonder what's this like some treasures for money Christ and the Madonna a popular subject how do I get there oh no I don't know why climbing is such a struggle. <laughs> Holy hell. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I mean, it's funny, but it's actually so tragic. Somewhere. Oh, God. I don't think I've seen anything worse in VR. Ezio, come on. Oof. Here it is. Oh wow. My Yatagan. Such an elegant blade. Why this hole so low? The left one is more comfortable. Oh will see. Crabbing is such... like, it's so weird. Door. Ah, time to get out of here. Oh. Now initiating the Animus Combat Protocol. Loading standard enemy profile. Block the incoming strikes by holding your weapon to intercept them. Got you now!
Nice. Oh, I need to hit the blade. What are you afraid to fight? Strike insufficient to cause damage. Your strikes are not effective. Excellent. Now block a sequence of strikes. Wait for the right moment to strike. Blocking enemy attacks can create opportunities for you to strike. Block the following attack sequence to continue. Oops. I mean, it's time to end anyways. I mean, actually, let's continue. Just this moment. I just don't completely understand the philosophy with the blocking. Maybe it's just close to me. Blocking a series of enemy attacks opens up windows to strike. Use these chances to slash an enemy. Execution rated acceptable. Now perform the maneuver in real time. It's like it has to be in my face. A well-placed attack will stun an enemy. This will allow you to strike and cause increased damage. Performance rated acceptable. Now eliminate this enemy. Come at me! Please follow training protocol. Ah, come on. In real scenarios, we'll do our thing. Training rated a success. Terminating Animus Combat Protocol. And uh, we have to end here as well. Okay, well, there's uh, a lot of stuff going on, especially with the physics and interaction. Like, it's not as consistent as it should be. Moreover, it's borderline the worst. <laughs> like, especially the climbing. I wasted so much time on it, but I hope Ubisoft won't drop it completely because there is a very big potential going on. The immersions here, I would like the textures to be a little bit polished. I wonder if it's just the full capabilities of Quest 3, but in my eyes it could be a little bit better. It seems like a full-on Assassin's Creed, so I think that was the whole point of it. And there's just so much stuff you can fine-tune and just adjust to your comfortability. Everything is available. We'll straight up continue this because this is literally my jam and what I was looking for. But there has to be like a day one patch or just as soon as possible to fix the, not controls, but just interactions in general.